Hey guys, I'm back. We're going to discuss, is diabetes really genetic? Okay, now just to summarize, type 1 diabetes is called insulin dependent because the cells that make insulin are not working anymore, so the person needs insulin to survive, okay? So that's really a condition where you have an insufficient amount of insulin, okay? Type 2 is non-insulin dependent diabetes, where you have a lot of insulin, but you have insulin resistance. The problem is with in this situation is insulin's not working anymore because you have insulin resistance, the receptors are blocked, so the body has to force it to make more, but it's ineffective, okay? But both of these conditions have high sugar because you're not able to regulate the sugar. The problem with really type one is that the person's taking insulin and now they're ending up with way too much insulin because they really don't tell you what to correctly eat to manage that better, okay? Now, there are certain cultures that have genetic predisposition to diabetes, okay? Now, if you're from Africa, you could have a genetic predisposition or kind of a susceptibility to getting diabetes and metabolic syndrome, which is high blood pressure, low good cholesterol, high sugar, and belly fat, which, by the way, all of these are caused by high insulin because the gene involved is a sugar-regulating gene. This gene doesn't allow the person to adapt to high levels of sugar. So it is as if the person is consuming a lot of sugar when maybe they're only consuming a moderate amount of sugar. This is a really easy problem to solve. Put the person on a low carbohydrate diet and watch what happens to blood pressure, cholesterol, blood glucose, diabetes, and belly fat. So I put a link down below for those of you that haven't seen my other videos so you can get the full scoop on how to do a low carb diet in a real healthy way. Thanks for watching. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before